so this is the introduction for a series, probably two, uh, three or four videos on my drill press and modifications I'm doing to it. So uh, first off, this is the intro video, but it will contain a review on this specific unit, which will only really be useful for those in Australia and New Zealand. I think that's where the uh, manufacturer operates. Uh, the next will be a drill press table and following that a uh, mobile base and cabinet for the bottom of the drill press. Uh, I'll, I'll update this video once those are all uh, finished and put a link somewhere in this area here. So I've had this drill press for about a year now. This is the Hafco SPD-20B. Uh, it is one of the cheaper drill presses you can get uh, in Australia. I found that other than the big few name brands like Jet Palmatic, there isn't actually a lot of variety of drill presses in Australia. There's Carbotech with their range, there's Hafco like these, but there isn't anything of high quality. There's very, very few with uh, variable speed, like continuous adjustable variable speed, uh, very few with digital readouts of the RPM. Uh, just about none of them have the uh, quill lock that is common on even relatively cheap drill presses in America. Like most drill presses that don't use a continuous variable speed, this is the belt driven machine uh, with changing the belts gives you the different speeds. This one ranges from 220 all the way up to 3480 RPM. To be honest, for a woodworking machine, anything above 1000 RPM is pretty intense for drilling. Uh, but given it has a one horsepower motor, it's nice to have that available. To be perfectly honest, I tend not to change the speeds all that often. Changing the belts is a little bit annoying. You need to adjust this knob here and there's one on the other side so you can slide the motor forward to release the tension. Uh, so I tend to leave it on about 800, which is what it's on at the moment, uh, because unless I'm using a large force in a bit, that tends to be a good enough speed for most material. The quill has an 80mm travel, uh, which requires about three quarters of a turn to go from zero to 80. The depth stop is one of the two locking bolt uh, nut time, which to be honest is pretty crappy. The chuck is a 16mm uh, chuck so you can get some relatively large bits in. Uh, to be honest I don't have anything larger than a 12.5 uh, or half inch shank on it. So it's nice to have but isn't exactly a necessity. Like most drill presses, these are actually designed for metalworking. So they tend to come with these relatively small tables, which you can uh, have clamps that attach to these slots. Uh, and this is where the problems start with the machine. There is an adjustment uh, for rotating the table, which is great. There is one for tilting the table from zero to uh, 45 degrees. That doesn't come flat and you do need to do some adjustment. And Obviously the zero doesn't line up with actual zero uh, in relation to the drill. So while you've got the adjustment uh, tilting left and right, there's no adjustment back and forth. So it really does require you to build a drill press table, even if it's just a simple piece of plywood that you attach, just a single sheet, just so that you can shim it up on one side or the other to get it actually parallel with a square with the drill bit. The other issue with alignment on this drill press is that um, there's a relative, or well, out of the box, there was a fair bit of wobble in the chuck in the quill itself. Now you can actually adjust that with that screw there, which as you can see isn't the easiest to get to. You need to actually take the depth stop off by adjusting that by loosening a hex bolt. Now you can get to that using a uh, flathead screwdriver and a wrench to tighten that nut. Now that isn't covered in the manual at all. So if you've not had a lot of experience with drill presses, uh, it can be a little bit tricky to figure out how to improve your drill press and how to get slightly better results. Now I mentioned before that this doesn't have a quill lock, so you have to hold the handle in position if you want to keep the... Um, drill press down. Now this presents a problem if you want to use something like a drum sander that attaches to your drill press uh, because that's just very awkward. I fully had the intention to add a lock to it by drilling and tapping a hole. However when I opened up this switch box to 
uh, see what I could actually drill into. Well, I'll just show you. As you can see, there's already a few drilled and tapped holes there. Now, two of these are for holding the switch box in position. I don't know what the third one's for, but this one in the middle here, you can lock the quill in by just snugging that up. So what I need to do is get a wing nut or a handle or something, drill through the plastic, and then that'll work just fine. With all that said about the drill press, would I buy it again? Maybe. Um, as I mentioned, there's not a lot of variety on the Australian market for drill presses. They're all um, a little bit crappy, unless you're spending big bucks. Um, for me, it was important to get the 80mm travel the wife had taken up uh, pen turning and we had a little bench mounted drill press which the spindle travel on that I think was about 50mm and for pens that's just not great. With the adjustments I've made, uh, particularly with tightening this up, cleaning everything out properly, um, adjusting the table, adjusting the depth stop so that it doesn't catch, uh, and the ability to add in a depth stop, even if it's a sort of aftermarket hacky solution, it's not the worst drill press that you could have. Uh, the only cheaper one that I know of is available at Bunnings. It's a full bore one, which looks similar in specs to this, but doesn't quite look like it's as heavy duty. Is that good, bad, otherwise? I don't know. I have no association with Hathco, so I'm not being paid for this review. Uh, so I have no hesitation in saying it's a maybe. It really depends on your needs, on whether something like this is uh, the right machine for you.